Hello Shamai and welcome to this very special football manager experiment. We have put the New Saints, TNS, the top team in the Welsh Premier League into the Vanarama National League to see how they get on. I've literally just swapped them, haven't changed the team whatsoever, they have exactly the same team as they have in real life. Same with finances and their board and their staff and everything like that is exactly the same except now they're in the Vanarama National League. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is going to go on holiday for a year and see how they do in the first year and then come back in subsequent years to see how the new Saints get on in the English system. And just before we go we'll have a look at the season preview. They're expected to finish 22nd so they're not expected to stay up so let's go on holiday for you and see how they get on right then we are back we have gone on holiday for an entire season i have no idea how they got off we're going to check this and we're going to do it all live reaction to see how tns got off in the vanarama national league well they didn't win it because you can see the holders are easily where did they manage to finish oh they're in the playoff final well that tells us something of where they they where they finished if we go to the league table they actually managed to finish second on 90 points just three points uh, uh, away from Eastleigh at the top of the league so in their first season in the Vanarama National League TNS managed to finish second let's have a look at their players and see how see how they got on in the season in terms of goals Alex Babos someone who is not with them in real life scored 13 a lot of these players I don't think are with them in real life. Wes Fletcher I think is another one who may not be. Let's have a look at the transfers and see how many players they brought in. We've got a transfer history. Wow, they made a lot of deals. Obviously, they were not good enough. The squad that they had, a lot of players like Scott Quigley who are key players in, in real life. A lot of transfers coming in here. A lot of players. Reese Gregor Cox. Dowling, Darnell Johnson, Nathan Holland, a lot of players on loan they got. They managed to finish second in their first season in the Na Vanarama National League, which really isn't that bad. They got to the player final. They lost 2-1 to Barrow. Let's see how that game went. They were 1-0 up in that game as well. Wes Fletcher scored. They lost 2-1 in the player final. Second in their first season in the Vanarama National. Isn't that bad. So there's the first season done. I'm going to go on holiday for another year now to see if TNS can, I don't know, win the league or maybe win the playoffs. I'll see you in a year's time. We are back. It's been another year. And as you can see on the screen, TNS actually managed to win the Vanarama National League in their second season. First season, they finished second. Second season, they have finished first. And they've won the league by about five points in the end. And their goal difference is absolutely unbelievable, really. 42 goal difference. They only lost nine games all season. They really didn't concede that many goals. Only 39 goals conceded in 46 games. Impressive from the Welsh champions. They're going to be going into League 2 next season. Let's just have a quick look at how their transfers went. And there's a couple of quite big names in here. They, they had Sadu Diallo on loan, not the biggest of names, but then there's Leon Best, the former Newcastle striker, former Blackburn striker, big, big player, 10 goals he got this season. There's also Jerome Thomas, former West Brom winger, who only played three games, but it's a, it's a big player to have in the conference, he's 35 years old. There's also Mudu Sugu, who is quite old, used to play for Sheffield Wednesday, very good player. Five goals in 26 appearances with 15 assists. Fantastic. He went from the Premier League in Portugal to the Van, Ra Van Rama National and didn't disappoint. And they also had Chris O'Grady, another former good good striker, former Forest player, former Brighton striker. Barnsley was where he made his name, really. And he managed to score 10 goals in just 13 appearances for TNS this season. Fantastic. Other players like Charles Dunn, football league players in real life. So this is, they've got some really good players in their squad. If we look at their squad for the season, in terms of goals, Wes Fletcher, 17 goals this season. Fantastic player. Play this on last season, I believe, in this save. Thomas James, 14 goals from the wing. When you look at their average rating of the players, Chris O'Grady are the best. 16 appearances, 13 goals. Fantastic from him. So here they are, first in the National League. Next year, they're going to go into League Two. I'm going to go on holiday for another another year just to see how they cope 
in League 2. See you in a year's time. Okay guys, it's been another year and as we can see we have the Sky Bet League 2 table here and TNS have a very, very impressive finish of 6th. They got into the playoffs, unfortunately I think they were knocked out in the semi-finals. Yeah, they were knocked out to Shrewsbury in the semi-finals. Unfortunately, they got into the playoffs. Yeah, Shrewsbury lost then in the final to Chesterfield. But if we look at the table, we want to go to stages. There we have it. Sixth position. Not bad for their first time in the Football League. TNS, the two seasons in Farmer Ram National, get into League 2, get into the playoffs. Maybe they can push on and win it next season. Let's have a look at their transfers and who they brought in. They spent £1.3 million in League 2. That's impressive. Amudu Sugo and Leon Best left. Those are the two big levers. Let's have a look, see if we can pick up any names that they've brought in. Ben Gladwin, who plays for QPI in real life. It's not bad. Free transfer. Mustafa Kariol, played for Forest and Middlesbrough in real life. Not another good transfer. A little bit old, but not too bad. David Cottrell, the Welsh international. They signed him on a free, I believe. They've got some very good players brought in on a free. I'm trying to look to see if there's anyone else here I know. Not particularly. Let's have a look at how their players performed this season. In terms of goals, Dominic Samuel, 27 goals. Who did they sign him from? It was a free transfer. He's currently valued at 1 million. 22 goals in his... 27 goals, sorry, in his first season here at TNS. Chris O'Grady was bringing in the goals as well with 16 Dennis Rakels is another one with nine men behind him. If we look at the average rate and the best player they've had this season is Stephen Saunders, the Scottish player. I don't think he's Scottish international. He played with TNS. He was signed for them in the first season. He's done very well. 7.31 rating for him. Another defender there, Connor Ruan. Shaquille Coulter is the more attacking player. So they've got some very, very good players. And you can see why they came six because there's a lot of good ratings here. 27 goals for Dominic Samuel. That is fantastic. It's another season done for TNS. Unfortunately, they didn't get promoted. But sixth place is the lowest they finished so far. And they're in League 2. Going to do a few more seasons to see if they can keep up their promotion battles. I'll see you in a year's time when they have their second season in League 2. Okay, it's just been another year. We're back at Skybet League 2. The year is 2020. And as we can see, it was a much more disappointing season for TNS this season. They finished 8th. I mean, still respectable, but an 8th place finish means no playoffs. The playoffs are still going on between Plymouth and Bury. But unfortunately, no glory for TNS this season. Let's have a look at how their transfers went, see if they brought in any names. Ooh, Hal robson Carnu, the <laughs> Welsh hero, has come in and he's got 16 goals this season for TNS. Impressive from him, Hal robson Carnu. Anyone else here? Dennis Adoy, who plays for Fulham. Matt Mills. Uh, made his name at Reading and Peterborough and not not Peterborough, Forest, Bolton and Leicester. Some very, very good players that they brought in. David Jones is another one. Played for Burnley and Sheffield Wednesday. Some very good players. Unfortunately, they haven't managed to do that well this season. And if we look at their goal scorers, Hal robson Carno and Andrea Novakovic has done the best. Dennis Rukal's getting some more goals this season. Shaquille Coulter's doing all right, as well as Nasser El Kayati. And we go an average rating. It's Jason McCarthy who's been their best player this season. We've got the likes of Conor Ruan, Dennis Doy, and David Cottrell up there. 12 assists, actually, for David Cottrell. That's quite impressive. Not the best of seasons for TNS. Eighth place finish, not the best. If we look at their transfers, I might, Dominic Samuel must have been sold. Yeah, Dominic Samuel was sold for almost nine, well, £900,000. 1.1 million they received, only 180k they spent. So maybe they should be should have spent a little bit more money. But they're eighth. We're gonna play one more season, and if TNS don't get promoted or relegated, we'll probably call it a day there. But we'll see if TNS can carry on battling, maybe push for one last promotion. I'll see you in a year's time. Okay, guys, we're another year into the future, and as we can see, TNS did manage to get promoted this year. They won. In the playoffs, incredibly won and another victory, another promotion. They did fantastically well in the playoffs. They beat Gillingham 3-0 away, then drew 1-0 and beat Crew 
2-1 in the final. Fantastic season for them. Another promotion into League 1 they go, which means this episode is going to just be that little bit longer. Let's have a look at who they brought in. They didn't spend any money this time. They made 600k selling players, but they didn't spend any money. Um, got players like Kyle McFadzian on loan, very old now. Keshi Anson, Bobby Grant, Ben Amos. Is that the Ben Amos? Yes, the Ben Amos used to be at Manchester United as a goalkeeper. Not really anyone else I recognise there. Let's take a look at how their players have done this season. In terms of goals, Dennis Raquel's is actually their top scorer this season. They've got three players in double figures. Andrea Nova Novakovic had 11 and Hal robson Carnu got 10. In terms of average rating, the best player they had was Mohamed Suamari. He only played three games, so that doesn't really count. Another best player they had really was James McCarthy. So you know, they bought in for 245k a few years ago and have really come into fruition in the last couple of years. Played very well for them and will be in League 1 next season. A lot of players doing very well for them this season. They're into League 1 now. We're going to see how well they get on League 1. I'll see you in a year's time. Here we are a year later in Sky Bet League 1. Where as we can see, TNS had a very respectable average finish of 15th in the table. I think we may have found their level. Skybet League 1, they've done well, they've competed well, they've finished mid-table. Let's have a quick look at how the transfers went, see if they spent a lot of money. They spent 10k more than they, they sold, 150k spent. There's a couple of players in here I recognise. Ragnar Sigurdsson is a decent player for Fulham in real life. Uh, Sambadi Akite used to play for QPR and Richard Keel. Both players very old now in this game. Some still some big names at the club. A couple of players leave it. David Jones, Matt Mills, and Kyle McFadzian retired. Ben Amos was only there for one season and left. Let's take a look at how their players did for the season. In terms of goals, Sean Price, who's a regent on loan from Reading, got 16. Jared Brown, another player they had on a free transfer this year, getting 15 goals. This another Dennis Raquel still scoring goals for them, doing quite well. If we look at it in terms of average rating, best player they had was Josh Rigby, who's on loan, also on loan from Reading as a regen. Ragnar Sigurdsson did well, only played a handful of games, but still got some good ratings in there as well. Shaquille Coulters and Andrea Nov Novakovic, still struggling to say that now. I think we'll leave it there for this experiment. League One seems to be where TNS have managed to find their, their, their footing, their average league. They were predicted to finish 17th. They finished 15th. I think they've done well here, to be honest. I actually didn't expect TNS to get out of the conference. I expected them to struggle in the conference, as did the season preview. But they've managed to get into League One, 15th in the table. I hope you enjoy this quick football manager experiment, guys. If you want to see a few more years of this, please let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again.